What's up guys? I'm going to show you a simple way to announce new features within your React Native app whenever you push out a new release. There's two things that we want to keep in mind when we implement this. The first is we don't want this screen popping up the first time somebody installs and opens the app. And we also want to be able to push out a release without having this screen pop up. Um, just in case, you know, we have a small, a couple small bug fixes or, or whatever, you know, something that doesn't need an announcement, we wanna have the option to do that too. Let's get started. So when the app loads, you'll see we have this start function and we call the register screens function, which registers our main screen. And then we call this navigation um, register app launch listener. So when the app launches, uh, we have this listener that calls set root. And set root here below, that launches our main screen. So what we want to do here, we want to create a screen to show what's new. And then we want to show that screen on launch. So let's start by creating a new screen. Um, we'll call it what's new screen. And we'll just go ahead and I'm just going to copy this code. Give us something to start with. Okay, so let's call let's rename this to what's new screen. Let's add some we'll add a little style to the view. Um, so, so container. So do. Just give it a little padding. We're gonna have a title that says, you know, what's new in this version. And what we're gonna do is pass the version number in here and uh, we'll get to that in a minute so we'll have the version number and then we'll just have a uh, a few features so let's say that we added the ability to print and then we have another feature. We fix bug where phone would occasionally blow up in face. So we need to get the version number of the app and we need to store that version number. So on the next launch, we know what was the previous version number and what version number we're on now. So to do that, we're gonna need two libraries. We're gonna need React Native Device Info and React uh, the async storage for React Native. So let's add Another function down here that we're going to call after the app is launched. We're going to call it show. Show what's new. Okay. So we're just typically I would have this in another 
uh, not in another folder but um, for this purposes I'm just gonna put it down here so show what's new first thing we're gonna check if it's null because if it's null then we know that this is the very first launch because no version has been saved so that way we know we don't need to show this what's new modal the second check we'll do is we'll check and see if the if the version that is saved is lower than the current version what we're going to do so let's get the persisted version and we do that by calling async storage get item and here we put the key of the item uh, I'm just going to make the key app version name it anything you want and then we need to get the current version using device info so const current version and device info get version okay let's uh let's import to device info from react native device info so the other thing async storage we're not importing that from react native because it's deprecated async storage needs to be imported uh, from react native community so yeah there we go right there okay so our imports look good let's go down here so we're fetching the current persist persisted version then we're grabbing the version of the release from device info so let's check so if the persisted version is null we don't want to show the modal so if it's not null then we want to show our what's new modal so we'll go to navigation dot show modal okay new features dot what's new and we're gonna pass pass the pop current version so we're passing current version in there oh we called it version number let's let's call it current version so we're going to pass that in there that way uh, the title of our modal will you know just say what's new in version you know 5.6 or whatever we're on so the other thing we need to do is we need to register this screen because if we don't register the screen we can't use it um, here as this component so we'll go to register screens and we will import what's new screen from what's new screen so then just below here we will register this component new features what's new what's new screen okay so that's done okay so let's just test and make sure that this modal works so we'll just set it to equal null uh, okay cool so 
We got our title up here, what's new in version 1.0.0. Um, we added the ability to print money, fix bugs where phone would occasionally blow up in face. That's an important bug fix. Okay, what we need to do now is save the current version to the local storage. So after this if statement, we'll just um, we'll go to use async storage, we'll go set item, and we call it app version. Okay. And what we'll do is we will stringify version number. So a current version. You know, the issue now is every time we open the app, that's going to show. But remember, we don't want it to pop up on every version. So there's an interesting trick we can do. If we use parse float, it'll take the 1.0.0 and parse it to 1.0. So then, if we increment the version to 1.0.1, .1, and then we parse float, it'll still be 1.0. So then if we increment the version to 1.1.0, and we parse float, then it'll be 1.1, then it'll be higher. So if we use parse float on get version from device info, then it'll automatically show the what's new modal only on major, or minor version increments, but it will not show it on patch version increments. So let's do that. Let's add parse float here. So that shows, um, and then we close and what was persisted was 1.0. So then if we close this out and open up the app again, still, sh oh, <laughs> we gotta add the other check. We gotta say if it's not null and current version is larger than the persisted version. Okay, so now let's open this again and see, no what's new model because it's still 1.0. Let's go into Xcode and we'll increment the version to 1.0.1. So given what we just talked about, when we run the app again, then the what's new model should not show. Okay, cool. So our app launched. No what's new modal. Now let's try it with a minor release. So now we're at 1.1.1. And let's do the same thing. So now we have 1.1.1. Um, and we'll start the app. And this time the what's new modal should pop up. Okay, so, ah, there we go. So now whenever we increment uh, the version by major or minor, we'll get the what's new modal automatically popped up. And if we do a patch uh, version increment, then no modal. So that's it, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. I'm going to be releasing new videos every week. So if you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching.